from a sold-out Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City on a clear, cold night. Welcome to the Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship. One of the hottest teams in college football, Kansas State, takes on everybody's number one, the Oklahoma Sooners, who are unbeaten at 12-0. Welcome, everybody, with my partner, Gary Danielson. I'm Brent Musburger. Should be really interesting tonight. If the Sooners can win two more in a row, arguably they'll go down in history as one of the best ever. The question for Gary, because I've been asked it all week long, can Kansas State stick with the Sooners? Absolutely they can, but they must take care of their own jobs first. As we take a look at the Bowl Championship Series standings presented by Allstate, Oklahoma clearly number one. Remember now, it is the lowest point total that gets you to the championship game. Third down now, and the K-State offense struggling to find a rhythm here. Under pressure, the screen's a great call. Here's Spurl, and Spurl breaks free. First down to the 36-yard line. Let's not lose the game. There's the screen man right there. Oklahoma likes to play zone. Let's not make it tough on our quarterback early. L. Roberson has a lot of adrenaline early in football games. Both defenses have done well on third down. And here comes Sproles breaking the daylight. Midfield, foot race. Perkins got the angle. Out of bounds inside the 20-yard line. Little tank with a lot of speed. That's a nice combination. Little pitch play, runs right through a tackle. One of the few tackles you'll see an Oklahoma team miss, and I think it's because his size is an advantage. That familiar stand-up tight end. They set the middle screen, and here comes Spurs. First down, midfield. Breaks the down. In the run for the end zone. This will give a two-touchdown lead. He's got it. 60 yards on the middle. screen outside and inside and Kansas State is one of the few teams in college football can do it all they got a running quarterback and they've got an emerging star at running back what a game plan and it is being executed perfectly and Gary Lulcher did a good job of helping yes, out on he that did. didn't he Spurs slips cuts back daylight 45 out to midfield and another Kansas State first down. Coming from the end, I think it's Jonathan Jackson comes inside. No, it's Dusty Dvorak, number 94, inside Odlecki. Comes inside, and well, I don't know who's going to win the Heisman this year. I really don't know right now, but I'll tell you, Darren Sproles is going to be the front runner for next year. This guy is an emerging star. First time that a K-State player has ever been a finalist for the Doak Walker. Here he comes again, cutting through the middle, taking charge before a straight. Rides him down at the 36-yard line. Oklahoma's defensive line, where's that patience? He's rushing the passer on a running play. You must have patience and read your keys. Terry is outside him. Draw play. Here comes Spurs to the short side of the field. All Big 12 team this year makes a huge recovery. Now on first down, Spurs spins in the hole inside the 10-yard line. I got no clue, folks. <laughs> All I know is what we're seeing here is amazing. 28-7, and Spurls bolts Man. the first down. I mean, they're starting to put it to them a little bit here. They have put 35 on the board. And Spurls takes off in a foot race. Can straight get him? They've got him out of bounds, but there is a flag. There were seven people on the line of scrimmage, therefore there's no flag. So it has been picked up a 60-yard run as we take a look at this play. And you watch the great running back, which takes me back to the first game. I think L. Roberson's injury just derailed them, and they didn't catch it again until they got back after three losses. Here's Sproles. Breaking into the open at the 40. 30. Cuts on Perkins. At the 10 yard line, Darren Sproles with 65 more yards, and now he has rushed for 239 here tonight against Oklahoma. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! 
Darren Sproles puts over 200 yards. There's Bobby Elliott, co-defensive coordinator. Came from Iowa. He knows this football game is a success. And now watch it. He popped it. Go for it, Darren. <laughs> Bobby has been through a lot, Fred. Well, I wonder if the Nebraska coaches think Kansas State's running up the score here against Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, they'll come down here and accuse him of running it up. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Look back in the record book at some of those scores, please. The great job and the great fans that they have down there. And we'll just have to see how everything plays out. Perhaps there were too many stories written about, are they the greatest team yeah. of all time? Perhaps everybody should have just taken a deep breath. Bob Stoops trying to tell everybody, I don't want to say we're better than the championship team because we haven't won it yet. We have a chance to be, and clearly uh, they did not answer the bell in this one here tonight. But congratulations go out to Kansas State. The seconds tick away. Bill Snyder has won his first Big 12 championship, and there he is going across the field now for the Congratulatory handshake with one of his uh, former coaches, Bob Stoops. Stoops, of course, congratulating him and uh, Snyder, their longtime old friends. And, uh, you know, the rivalry developed. And Bobby raided the coaching staff and uh, some warm moments there. A couple of very class guys. What about the performance of Darren Sproles and your quarterback, L. Roberson, and your defense team, for that matter? Well, I'll tell you, if you've got a, do you have a vote for the Heisman? All right, who would you vote for? <laughs> well, tell me, Jack, <laughs> who would you vote for? I'm going to have to make that decision this week, Coach. Well, if you do, don't forget Darren Sproles, <laughs> who is probably the leading all-purpose rusher yeah. in the country, and you see why. And if, and if Heisman people saw him, they would understand what I'm talking about.